All right, Coach, uh, you get to kick off your practices for the, for the season. Uh, how exciting is it to get it going? Well, you know, the uh, beginning of a new season is always exciting, and we want to try to bring some excitement back to the Valley, you know, after having a, just a, a, an unbelievable year last year, breaking a 32-year non-winning streak, and uh, getting into postseason was quite an accomplishment by the young ladies. And, we're looking forward to uh, trying to even do more and make that final step and get to an NCAA tournament. Now you have, I believe, about 30 practices or so before the start of the season. How do you want to utilize those those practices? Well, we've got a lot of new players. You know, we've got nine new faces on the team, so we've got a lot of teaching to do. You're very limited during summer sessions, very limited during the first part of the year. You're only allowed two hours a week by the NCAA to work on basketball. and that's uh, that's the way it is, so we have to adjust to it. You know, personally, I wish we could double that and try to teach the kids more. But uh, we got to we got to make up ground in a hurry. Like I said, we have 30 practices, and we're going to try to do as much as we can, stay within our limit, of course, during the week of 20 hours of practice per week. So. We're going to have to make up uh, a lot of ground, but I think we have some kids who are pretty court savvy, good court awareness, they know the game, so I think we're going to be able to teach a lot of things quickly. Uh, is there any part of the game that you want to focus on over the next month that, you know, defense or transition offense or anything like that? Well, we're always uh, up-tempo transition offense, but our offense begins with full court, 94-foot uh, pressure defense. And then we've uh, got to institute all the new rule changes that we have with the women's game and you know we've got to enlighten everybody including the coaches on adjustments that we can make during the game and hopefully uh, make a difference. Yeah, you talk about those rule changes, I believe you guys go to quarters instead of halves this year, right? Yeah, we're at uh, four ten minute quarters and then your foul situation after the fifth foul in each quarter it goes to a two shot foul, not a one and one anymore, there's no more one and one. It's a two-shot foul, and then you've got a backcourt, uh, 10 seconds in the backcourt. You've got the last minute of each quarter. You know, you have a chance to uh, to move the ball forward, you know, with the timeout. So, yeah, that makes it pretty exciting. Um, what can you tell me about, about this year's team? I mean, you've seen them throughout the summer. Uh, what can you tell us uh, about them? Well, the main thing we got to do is we got to develop our guard play, and we had excellent guard play with uh, Keandre Nolan last year, uh, Tanisha Walker, Shantae Goff, of course Shantae's back. We're transitioning uh, Raquel Preston into a three, and I think she's going to do very well at that because she'll be guarding the point guard nearly all the time. Uh, so we got to develop a point guard. We've got to have somebody step up and, and take that. Right now I've got Adele Turk, I've got Bernicia Peters, I've got Angie Villarreal competing for that spot, but uh, in the back of my mind, I know that Chante Goff could also play a point guard.